गुरु ब्रह्मा गुरु विष्णु गुरु देवो महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात पर ब्रह्म तस्मय श्री गुरुवे नम ओम भवताप प्रणाशिन्ने आनंद घनमूर्त ज्ञान भक्ति प्रदायिने मातस्तुभ्यं नमो नमः जय मा ओके सो नाउ वी कंटिन्यू आई कॉल्ड अप स्वामी निर्गुणानंद जी and i told him that mummy has given the permission so now what next and i mentioned to him that i have spoken to ashok baba but he's too busy right now so he said everything is fine but the only thing is that somebody in gherua like a sanyasi only has to give you uh, the chadar and he can only initiate you and give you the mantra so i said you are authority on sanyas you know so why don't you give it to me he said i'd be too happy to do it but he said you know we were thinking of deciding the date and how we should meet and he said we can meet in bhimpura and we can go in the narmada ji and do the snan over there and all that we were discussing then suddenly he says no no when the king is with us why should i do it you know let the king do it i said who king you are you talking about he said swami nirvanan ji i said oh yes of course you know and i said where is he right now i think he's in pune because it was the month of march and you know um, during winter time he leaves kankhal because it's very cold and he used to go to some ashram you know and stay over there where it's not very cold so he can bear the cold so he was in pune ashram that time you know so i said yes he's in pune ashram and it's very close by from bombay you know i said but swami ji i am very scared of calling him up <laughs> because like i've said earlier he's very stern on the outside inside he's like warm he's like soft you know so sweet so i said i'm getting a little worried about calling him up and telling him all this he said no you'll have to do it don't worry i am with you you know so just do it and uh, your job will be done if you call him up i said okay i'm i'm going to take a lot of courage to call him up you know so he said yes just do it and immediately give me a call and tell me what he had to say i said okay so i picked up the phone dialed his number and he came on the line and i said swami ji i was just rattling off you know that swami ji this is what happened you know swami bhaskaran ji had done this 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 is it went on he was just listening and he then he yelled at me he said not like this you have to come samne aake baat karo come and stand in front of me and talk to me so i said okay i'll do that you know so i said you are in pune ashram i'll come and talk to you so he said okay and he put on the phone So I said, now what? Then I waited for a little bit, and I told uh, Nirvanan Ji. I said, this is what he had to say, and he was very stern about it. So I don't know what to do. I said, I'm going to call him up again. I'll go tomorrow morning. He said, just do it, you know. So I said, I'll leave very early from Bombay. To, it's about a three-hour drive. I said, I'll leave very early, and I'll reach over there at nine o'clock in the morning. So he said, just do it. I said, okay, fine. Let me take an appointment and tell him that I'm coming. So I called him up again. and uh, when i called him up he says you know there was the in charge brahmachari over there in charge of the ashram so he tells me speak to him you know and ask him when you can come so i said swami ji this is me talking to you and you are telling me that i have to call up the brahmachari to take an appointment with you is that what you are telling me when i said that he says theek hai kal subah aa jana <laughs> so i said yes i'll be there at 9 o'clock i said you know so he said theek hai and we put on the phone now in the morning i was in a frenzy you know and i told my mother i'm leaving for pune so i got up very early which i do in any case and i was there i drove down and i was there at about quarter to 9 maybe 8:30 quarter to 9 i was there in the ashram and i asked the brahmachari i said you know i want to meet him so she he said yeah you can go to his room so i went to his room he was lying down because he's not in very good health he has to lie down all the time you know and today he's 100 years old that time he wasn't this was 2012 i'm talking about i got my sanyas in 2012 so i went to his room i did pranam and all that he was lying down and he looks at me and he says what tell me now he was very soft and very nice so i sat on a chair i said swami ji i can't sit on the floor i have a back problem he said no problem so i sat on a chair next to him and he was lying down on the bed and i narrated the whole story to him and he said i said this is what happened when swami ji bhaskaran ji said this and he and bhaskaran ji were very close 
So he just looked at me and he said, you've confused me thoroughly. I said, why? So he said, Bhaskar has already done everything and gone, you know. He's already initiated you through Ma, you know. So now what is left for me? I have nothing to do except give you the mantra and give you the chadar. So I said, then what do you suggest I should do? He said, okay, give me some time to think about this. So he said, you, you'll be coming in the month of May for Ma's Janmotsav to Kankhal, won't you? I said, yes, I will be. So he said, then we'll think about it when you come in May. I said, May? Are you kidding me? I want an answer right now. He said, right now? So I said, yes, right now. I'm sitting right here. Tell me yes or no. Whether I have to take it or I don't have to take it, you know. He said, okay, do one thing. You're confusing me more. You just go down for a walk. By that time, it was like a little later in the day, almost nearing noon time, you know, like 12 o'clock or so, because we were chatting away. So I said, Swamiji, I'm not going anywhere. I'm sitting on this chair in your room. I won't disturb you. In this heat, do you want me to take a walk over here downstairs? I'm not prepared to do that. I'm sitting in your room. I'll sit right in front of you, but I will be very quiet. I said, you decide what needs to be done and think I won't disturb you. So tell me, and I'm sitting. So he started laughing, okay? He laughed and you guys won't believe what happened. He laughed very loudly and dharak se, it came out from his mouth, the sannyas mantra. I was shocked. And without anything, I hadn't prepared anything. I hadn't taken anything with me. I didn't know what to take, what to do, nothing. I was just sitting over there and he just gave me the mantra. And I was like, I'm looking at him and he says, now go down. And I said, no, no, one minute. I said, what is it that you just said? So he, I went close to him and he whispered in my ear again, you know, and he says, repeat it. I said, oh my God. So I repeated. Then he said, now go down and tell the brahmachari in charge to give you a fresh gherwa chadar and bring it upstairs to me. I was still shaking. And you know, as luck would have it, I had a, a gherua chadar of Didima with me, you know, which one, like I said, lots of people used to come and give me gherua. So this was Didima's chadar, Ma's mummy's chadar, okay, which was with me. And I had a gherua shawl also, which I think Swami Bhaskaranji had given me or something like that. And both of these things were in my car. I had kept it over there only. And I suddenly remembered these two things and I took it out quickly. But I still went to the Brahmachari and I said, do you have a fresh Gherwa Chadar? And he's going, what are you talking, Didi? What are you talking? I said, just don't ask me questions. Just give it to me, you know. So he was also running. He was in a frenzy himself because he knew what was happening. He opened the cupboard in the office took out one fresh chadar, Gherwa chadar, and he gave it to me. And he says, what is happening? What is happening? Tell me, tell me. I said, you just follow me. Don't ask me questions because even I don't know what is happening. So he gave after me, you know, and we ran upstairs to Swamiji's room. And I gave the chadar to him, all the three chadars that I had with me. And he takes the chadar from my hand. And, you know, as a child and as my growing up in my growing up days i had seen him you know draping the sari on ma on her physical body and doing her puja and aarti and everything i was a witness to all that i had seen swami nirvanaji doing because like i said ma was the one who had taught him all the pujas and what nirvanaji does as puja nobody can do in the world he's so perfect in every movement everything so suddenly when he opened the chadar and he draped it on me. You know, I sat like that. I, I bent down and he draped the chadar on my head and draped it all. The way he, his hand movements, the way he was swinging the chadar. And I was just reminded of how he was doing it on Ma all the time. Same kind of movement, same very graceful movement, you know, of the chadar that he draped on me, the Gherwa chadar, you know. I burst out crying when that happened, you know. I mean, I was remembering Ma, how he was doing it on Ma. And I fell into his lap. Okay, this is what happened. 
I fell into his lap and I was crying and crying and crying, you know, and he was consoling me, patting me, hugging me, you know, so much love and affection he gave me, so much of it, you know, and the brahmachari was just standing behind with folded hands like this. And when I get up, he tells the brahmachari that from today, she is Swami Nityanand. E Nityanand hai, Swami Nityanand hai, isko pranam karo. I said, oh my God, oh my God. And the brahmachari did Swamiji, Swamiji, and he did pranam to me. And I said, my God, this is like I'm dreaming. It can't be true, you know. So I was exhilarated. There, you can't. I mean, I have no words to say what happened to me that day. I was like so totally choked up, so full of emotions and so full of everything. And then uh, one of our Guru Bhais, you know, Ajay Sopori, he walked in because he knew I was in Pune and he knew that I was going to meet Swamiji and talk to him about this. And he was standing outside waiting for our thing to get over. And he had brought this lovely ice cream because Swamiji was very fond of ice creams. He, he still is today. So he had got this sugar-free ice cream for him with strawberries on it. <laughs> and he brought it in and he said, Swamiji ice cream. I said, ha, aaj to bohat achha din hai. Swamiji ko zarur khilao. So he was all smiles, you know, when he gets ice creams. So he said, yes, I will have the ice cream. And from there, then he gave me instructions of what I need to do. And he told me, now you select a very good day. Like, you know, tithi ke hisab se, it has to be a good muhurat. And you will go home, you will buy clothes, fresh material. Now the white you cannot wear anymore. So you will buy some fabrics, have them stitched. And you have to get the gheru mati because I didn't know anything. I didn't know what to do. He says you have to, because it is your first time that you will be wearing your gherua, you have to go and pick up the cloth and color the cloth yourself in the house, you know, with the gheru mati, mati, you know, the mud. So I said, okay. So he says, it is a process that you have to do. And when you're ready, you select the date yourself. I'm not going to tell you. And you select that date, then come with your clothes to me, what you have colored. I will bless your clothes because actually I'm supposed to come with you to the sacred holy river where you will at the Brahma Murat, which is like quarter to four in the morning, you have to go into the uh, uh, river. You have to be like, a chest high into the river and there are certain mantras that you have to chant over there which we will guide you and then you once that ceremony is over then you come out remove your white clothes and let them flow into the river that they have gone your past life is over and you put on your gherua clothes now for that the acharya guru has to be present when all this is happening but since I'm ailing and I'm in bed, I won't be able to accompany you. So you come to me. Where will you go for this? I said, I can go to Nasik because the Godavari is over there. It's close by. He said, perfect. You can do it, you know. So he said, you first come to me, show me your clothes. I will bless them and then you carry on and go to Nasik. So I said, okay, I will do that, you know. So I was so excited. I came down first. And I was still with the Gherua Chadar and I couldn't believe what was happening and my friends were there, my Guru Bhais. So they were congratulating me and all that. And I called up Swami Nirvanananji because he was waiting for my call and I said, Swamiji, it's done. He says, congratulations, welcome to our fraternity. It was so beautiful what he said. Welcome to our fraternity, now you're one of us. And Swamiji, Namo Narayan, Namo Narayan, Namo Narayan. I said, Namo Narayan, Namo Narayan, you know. So he said, now your journey begins and what are you supposed to do? So I have told him, I told him everything and he says, okay, so you carry on and keep me posted all the time and I'll be on the call with you. I said, fine. Now I, uh, I came back to Bombay. Now I entered the house and my mother was waiting for me to know what really happened. And I told her, this is what happened. And he's given me this Gherwa Chadar. But my ceremony is still balanced, so I have to select a date and go. So she said, yes, do it, you know. So I said, fine. So we selected a date, which was like, I think, 15 days after this incident, okay? Because the Titi was then, and it was a very auspicious day. So we decided to select that date. And then I called up my Guru Bhais, who live in Pune, uh, Kailash, uh, Ajay Sopuri, who is no more. 
and Ashok Baba's sister Tai. She said, I will also accompany you because you need a female to give you your clothes when you change your clothes in the river. You know, there has to be a female who's giving, handing over the clothes to you. So she said, I will do the ceremony. I said, okay, fine, you come with me. So that's what happened. And we selected the date, which was 15 days away. Now, in the next episode, <laughs> Jai Baba. Om Bhavatapa Pranashinne Ananda Ghanamurtaye Gyanabhakti Pradayinne Mathastubhyam Namo Namaha. Jai Ma, Jai Ma, Jai Ma.